peace everybody by Vito Garcia, aka DJ Cucumber Slice, aka Cool Bob Love, aka Make It Happen, aka The Cool Water Man. I am a DJ, I spin worldwide, I used to spin on radio in New York with Shutch Austin and Lord Sear for 12 years. I'm also a writer for Bounce Magazine, former editor in chief there, a columnist for Vibe Magazine, and the author of Where'd You Get Those New York City Sneaker Culture, 1960 to 1987, that came out on Testify Books. I'm also the TV host of ESPN2, It's the Shoes. People ask me how do I feel about the current trend with sneaker culture, and you know it's very interesting because it, it is that it's it's a trend. I mean, um, you know, I knew a lot of people over the years who might not have been so into sneakers now as they are now because there's media coverage. There's you can find out about sneakers on the internet. You can find out about sneakers in magazines. You can find out about sneakers on TV, and you know, there's a ton of stores. And you know, you bounce back 15, 20 years ago, it wasn't really like that. I get asked often about what are my favorite brands and I mean generally I just try to rock with whatever whatever someone else isn't wearing. I mean the whole reason why I got into sneakers was because I played ball as a kid and you know before I even had any depth of style it was about okay these sneakers are gonna protect my ankle, these sneakers are gonna protect my feet on the concrete and um and so at that point in the 70s I mean there wasn't really a lot of difference uh, technologically between the different brands besides the outsoles. Uh, then towards the 80s, uh, obviously Nike and Adidas kind of took a lot of leaps forward in terms of technology. My favorite shoe of all time is probably the Nike franchise. And I say Nike because back then there was no advertising and you see N-I-K-E pronounce it Nike. Just like you see B-I-K-E, you're going to say bike, you're not going to say bikey. So. I've been coming to Atlanta sneaker spots for a minute. Um, obviously, that's, that's one of the things I do when I go into a town is play ball, go record shopping, check out sneaker stores. But in terms of like the boutique culture in, in Atlanta, um, I've been to a couple of stores. I definitely love the layouts. I love the, the sort of the brilliant textures that they brought in. And you know, the, as far as you know, them choosing the nice sneakers, Atlanta got it going on. Like anytime I come to Atlanta, I see ill sneakers on people's feet. That's, that's, and that's standard for 10 years. So um, I would count Atlanta in as one of those cities that knows what where they're at when it comes to sneakers. If people are interested in finding out more info, you can go to www.myspace.com slash Bobito Garcia, which is B-O-B-B-I-T-O-G-A-R-C-I-A. You can also go to youtube.com slash user slash Bobito Garcia. Or you can go to somosarte.com slash Bobito. Or if you want, just Google my name. You'll get about 100 pages of, of hits. So thank you very much. Peace.